Welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at removing the stopper from an American Standard Speed Connect drain. So you see on the back here, we have this thing that sticks out. We want to turn that um, clockwise, you know, because it's uh, from where we're sitting, and that should unscrew it. And that will come out like this, and you'll have a little gear there. Okay, so I'll let that sit aside. Then we'll take a look at the back side. So I have a mirror here. Okay, so to take this apart, I need to pop that little clip out of there. Okay, so now I need to pop this little clip off, and I'm doing this backwards while trying to film. I need to stick a screwdriver in here. Okay. And I'm just going to pry that out until it pops off, like so. So the gears were facing outwards. Now I can pull this little plug out. There we go, it's kind of gross. So there we go, it was facing up like this. So now I'm going to pull the plug out and I'll clean it. And that plug has a little loop on it and it's facing towards the wall. When I put it back in, I'm gonna put all this back together but I'll leave the plug out. And then I'm going to face the plug, the hole in the plug towards the, away from the wall. That way it doesn't, it's not captive anymore. Okay, so I cleaned this up before I started recording but this was in here like this with this loop towards the back of the sink, okay? And that makes it captive, but I want it like this when I put it back. So I'll actually put that little arm in there and I'll stick this in later. And that way I can just take this out whenever I want to clean the drain out. So to clean the drain, I'm, I'm mostly talking about how to get this thing out, but to clean it, I just shove paper towels in there and then stick like a dowel in to press them all through. And it just uh, pulls all the gunk off the side and the hair and everything that was stuck in there. So the good news was actually past here, the P-trap was incredibly clean. So this thing was like catching everything before it made it down to the P-trap. So I didn't have to do a lot of cleaning there. So to put this back in, I'll take the little hook and I'll make sure it's pointing up and I'll pop that clip back in place and then I'll thread that thing back on. So it's the opposite of taking it off. So I'm inserting this after I got it all back together. So you see, I'm putting this loop towards the front now. And then when I pull this up and down, it drops down, comes right back up. So you probably want the loop in the back if it's in a prison or something, you don't want someone to pull this out, but in a home setting where no one's going to mess with it, this is much more convenient. So if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.